making a video for you. You like that? I said I promised I would sing to you. And so there you have it. So you can all get off my back. No, I'm just kidding. I'll totally sing for you again. Or if your cat propped up his ears and started having a hairball incident in his throat, just tell me to never sing again and I will honor your request. Nothing to do with singing or cats or hairballs. We are going to talk about how to make your bulletproof coffee better. What is a bulletproof coffee? Well, you may have also heard it been called butter coffee. Basically, it is a fat-filled drink that you eat in the morning, or rather drink in the morning, instead of having breakfast. It's a blend of usually coffee or tea, or you can use hot water, and you blend it with MCT oil. Now there's been a little bit of chatter online about how MCT oil is like evil and shouldn't be consumed and I don't prescribe to that approach. And also in a classic butter coffee or bulletproof coffee, there's butter. Here's the problem that I have with the classic bulletproof coffee of MCT oil and butter, especially when it comes to women's health. A lot of my clients when working with one-on-one -on -one, and also in our keto group, which you gain access to when you purchase my book, The Keto Beginning, is that after the blended concoction, whether you make it with coffee or tea or water, a lot of people have been dealing with cravings after it or low blood sugar to the point that they get shaky or hormone fluctuations. And a lot of people are allergic to dairy, meaning that they can't put the butter in the coffee. So if this is you and you're noticing some strange things after you have your butter or bulletproof coffee, heck, maybe you're vegan and you don't do the butter and you don't feel like downing some coffee with a bunch of MCT oil in it, I've changed up a couple of things in the Bulletproof Coffee recipe that I've seen better resonates with the women in our community as well as with myself, and I've called it the Rocket Fuel Latte. Okay, but you're probably thinking, uh, Leanne, what the heck? I'm gonna have fat in my coffee in the morning? That is gross. Here's how rocket fuel lattes work so that you get on the bus with me and we drive to rocket fuel latte town. The first thing is fat burning. When you wake up in the morning, your body is primed to burn fat. So what happens when we start our day off with a bowl of cereal or oatmeal or maybe a slice of toast with some avocado on it? we stop the fat burning magic from happening. It's quite sad, really. The other reason why starting off the day with a rocket fuel latte is awesome is because it sends the signals telling our bodies that everything is okay. With a rocket fuel latte, we're sending a specific signal to your hormones leptin and ghrelin that tell us that we're happy, we have the fuel that we need, and that all is good with life. When we have just the MCT oil with the butter, it can confuse these hormones and leptin, for example, I imagine it like a little taxi driver that goes through your body and tells your body what fuel it has, what fuel it doesn't. And this little taxi driver gets up to your brain and says, we need more fuel. And then your brain goes, oh my gosh, we need more fuel. When really leptin is all messed up because there's tons of fuel left. Leptin just got the wrong message and it's like the telephone game and he got really confused along his way. By using the rocket fuel latte approach, we make sure that those hormones specifically are calm down and as women we also tell our endocrine system which creates all of our estrogen and progesterone and everything to continue being good and happy and solid and perfect. Now there's a couple rules around making a successful rocket fuel latte and they all revolve around making sure that we stay in a fasted state for the morning because that's when we're gonna burn the most fuel. So a couple of rules, there's four of them. The first one is less than 10 grams of protein per serving. The second one is put as much fat in there as you like, girl. The third one is make it less than three grams of carbohydrates. And the fourth one is if you stop eating at night at 9 p.m., you are going to have your coffee at 9 a.m. There's only a 12-hour window between the time you have your last meal and the time that you have your rocket fuel latte. Any more than that, and it sends that danger signal, especially as women, saying that not everything is safe, we should stop producing certain hormones, and it can get all crazy on us. 
Now maybe you're like, how do I get this rocket fuel latte action going in my life so that I can be satiated, so that I can have normal hormones, so that my blood sugar is regulated, that I can enjoy my blended coffee without the use of dairy because butter makes my insides crazy, so that I can abolish my morning and mid-morning cravings, and so that I can have a level head and a strong brain. Through the magic of technology, if you are watching this video on healthfulpursuit.com, the answer and the recipe for my rocket fuel latte is below this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you're not on healthfulpursuit.com, then you're going to have to go over to healthfulpursuit.com. I have included the link to the rocket fuel latte right around here somewhere. And you can go there. But before you go, wait just one sec. You should subscribe to my channel because every month I release new videos that have everything to do with being awesome and living high fat and creating an eating style that works for you. And if you love the high fat message and you're really curious about what this is all about and you'd love for me to show you more, you should get my book. I have included a link to my book up here somewhere and you can click over there, check it out if it resonates with you. I would love to have you join our community. When you grab the book, you become part of our exclusive Facebook group. There's over 1,200 members supporting one another, answering their questions, and I stop in every day to provide some insights on your journey to high fat living. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make a rock of fuel latte. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel and I will see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye.